Bali dogs need your help. In recent years, Bali has branded itself as this tropical beachfront paradise. And it is. The beaches are beautiful, the rice terraces are spectacular, and did we mention the monkeys? But there's one thing that's often left out of travel blogs, vlogs, and major news sites. There's tons of stray dogs. They're everywhere, on the street corners, in front of people's homes, in the rice terraces themselves. They're everywhere. It's sort of heartbreaking. And when I dug a little deeper, I realized that stray dogs are the least of Bali's canine problems. In all reality, 90% of stray dogs actually have owners. They're just kind of left free outside the house to protect against bad spirits and thieves. There's a bigger problem we need to talk about. It all centers around one word, rabies. In 2008, someone was bitten here in Bali by a rabies infected dog and actually died. A slew of other deaths happened in the ensuing weeks, months, and years, and the Bali government responded by a massive calling of the dogs here. In this case, calling means slaughter. They aim to eliminate hundreds of thousands of street dogs, and in 2008, there were about 800,000 stray dogs here. Now, there's just barely 150,000. It went from 800,000 to 150,000 in 10 years. While the Balinese government has backed off significantly from mass calling, tens of thousands of dogs are still slaughtered every single year. They're slaughtered for two major reasons. One, the calling initiative by the Balinese government, and two, the meat trade. Yes, restaurants sell dog meat here, and sometimes they even sell them to unsuspecting tourists. For the record, it's not illegal to eat dogs here, but it is illegal to capture, hold, slaughter, or otherwise torture dogs in ways that goes against animal welfare laws. A cut to the chase. In doing my research for this video, I saw some really, really horrible pictures of dogs being killed, lined up in the streets, and thrown onto trucks to go get buried and or burned. While I've been here, I've also seen dogs with broken limbs sort of limping around the streets and looking quite helpless, to be honest with you. Luckily, there's something that we can do about it. There's an awesome organization here in Bali called the Bali Animal Welfare Association. In Bali, they do things like find homes for stray dogs, feed dogs on the streets, educate the public about rabies, and also immunize stray dogs who might have rabies. To help, people from around the world can donate money, food, adopt a dog, or even volunteer while they're here vacationing in Bali. They even have pet products that you can buy, of which a portion goes straight to their charity. I've linked their website beneath this video in the description. So if you're coming to Bali or know anybody that's coming to Bali, maybe you can uh, volunteer with this great organization, you can donate some time, you can maybe even adopt a dog, whatever you wanna do, but at the very least, what we can do is spread the news about this and hopefully you know, provide some change and impact a couple dogs' lives. Thank you guys for watching.